Hey, what's going on? And it looks kind of weird behind me, but if you watch my videos before, you know what's back there. Uh, that's kind of good. The doors are actually open. You can see my bedroom, so I don't want you to see that there, but, uh, so, once again, my wife is out, and I'm, uh, going to record some videos here, so, I'm going to get right into it. This is going to be my wrestling, uh, review show so to speak. So I did one a while back. I did one, I believe, oh, probably late in the week, probably, because I think my wife took off and went somewhere. Um, so, you know, this is my time when you know, you'll see a lot of videos uploaded. So this is the first one you're seeing. Uh, definitely go look at and check out my other ones. You don't notice, most of the time when I do my videos, you go back and look at the videos, they all look the same. So here we go, let's get right in the roll review. Bam! This week, the great, great, great Monday Night Raw. I think it's probably the best one. It's been probably in about a month or so. Um, I know probably about like three weeks ago there was actually a decent Raw. But the last like two weeks have not been very good for Monday Night Raw. Um, but this week was actually really, really good. Um, except for the Zack Ryder chain match. We'll get to that. So it was it was a pretty good flow. There wasn't too much stuff on the show, though, to be honest. So it's going to be a little bit easier for me to remember. <laughs> so the show kicked off with CM Punk coming down the ring, uh, and basically, you know, talking about what exactly happened last week with John Laurinaitis uh, popping Mick Foley over the head, saying that he's going to screw CM Punk at the Royal Rumble. Or, or CM Punk comes out and says, well, since I'm basically screwed and I'm going to lose the belt probably at a rumble, the only way I can stop that is I have one, uh, what do you call that, one way to, you know, stop that. And he said, if I break his arms. So he tries to get John Rice to come down in the ring, blah, 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 and then here comes John Cena instead. And he gets to the ring and uh, CM Punk's like, no, I didn't ask for Boy Scout, John. I asked for... You know, boring, nobody wants to see uh, John. So, uh, it was very, very funny. Uh, and then John, you know, saying all these things, like, oh, well, I'm going to get him to come out and saying, oh, you screwed Zack Ryder, blah, blah, blah. All that crap on Zack Ryder. I'm so over Zack Ryder right now. So, it's like, oh, God. Okay. And so, he talked about Zack Ryder, all that bullshit. Then he's like, then I want a match with Kane tonight. And then I'll fight him at the Royal Rumble, too. Because that's how much he hates Kane. Yeah. In your face, Kane. Cena wants you. <laughs> Should be a poster. Cena wants you. You. Cena wants you to fight him. <clears throat> so then, then see if I was like, well, yeah, that didn't work. And then, like, as he starts to say another sentence, here comes John down the ramp. It's like John was kind of come down or something. He was late to the, to the punch or whatever. But then here comes John. He's like, oh, 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 oh. And he's like, <laughs> that's actually a pretty good impression, too. <laughs> but then he's like, oh, well, I'm not going to give in to you guys' demands and blah, blah, blah. And he's basically standing on the ramp. And CM Punk's agging him on going, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Why don't you come down to the ring? I can't hear you. He's trying to get him to come in the ring. It was, it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. It would have been funny if he just wouldn't have shut up and just wouldn't have like, kept on doing that in the crowd. It would have probably started chanting, we can't hear you. It would be funny. Uh, basically, he says, you know, Zack Ryder, he's going to have a match tonight. He's medically cleared to wrestle. I want to put him in a match with Kane. Yeah, John. John's that nice. He, that's what he's going to do for Zack Ryder. After he's medically cleared, first match back, you're going to face Kane. Anyway, uh, well, first match back, he wrestled last week anyway, injured, so. Um, and then he basically said, and since you guys are two buddy buddies, uh, we're going to have a tag match. And then he uh, proceeds to say, oh, let's get a referee out here. Uh, next thing you hear is, excuse me, excuse me. And it was the funniest thing I thought was, as soon as you see the excuse me, they cut to the ring real quick, and CM Punk drops to his knees, and he's like, oh. <laughs> that was like one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and then, 
It could, it's Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger. Pretty decent match. John and I ends up coming down, like, after, like, two mats into the match and sits at ringside. Basically causes Sam Punk to get pinned by Dolph Ziggler for a fourth time. Um, and Punk is livid. He is pissed. As soon as everybody clears out, John's the only one slacking behind. Sam Punk says, hey, hey. Tired of this bullshit. And he's like, tired of it. He's like, tonight, I want a match with you. He said, you know, tired of this. And John said, yeah. And he walks out. So we get a match. Sing him punk for John Laranitis to make event. Woo! Everybody's excited. Everybody's excited. <coughs> <coughs> and then I don't remember the order of things. I believe, uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm probably going to miss a few things, but um, I think I basically cut back to Zack Ryder after that, and he's talking about Kane, blah, 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 um, and uh, Mick Foley's telling him, oh, you're, you'll do fine, he's just a person underneath that mask, just remember that, you can kick his ass, oh, well, he didn't say those exact words, but I'm doing the tree of woes thing here, so they say, yeah, I, I can, I can kick, yeah, you, you could be, you could be, have faith, you know, love. and he's like, oh, you don't have to do this, you just came back, blah, blah, blah. and Zach's like, no, no, I'm, I'm okay, woo, and then, you know, he's gonna go out and fight him, so basically, I believe that was the next match, um, and then, you know, they, uh, in that match, they, they fought, they fought, they fought. Really, it was like an ass kicking of a lifetime. There's one time where Zach smacked him in the face with some briefcase looking thing. I don't know what the heck that was. I think it was like the old million dollar briefcase or something laying around in the props outside ring or something. But <laughs> I have no idea why that kind of mellow briefcase is just laying around there. I think it was probably for like mics or something like that. But it was a briefcase, and Zach already takes it, shoved it right in King's face, and slams in his face and he backs off for a second and then you just see Kane just beat the holy shit out of him and the whole rest the remainder of the uh, match. Uh, so basically he, he got that one offensive move in. I think he got like a drop kick or a, tried to close the leg or something at one point at the beginning but that was the only two offensive moves he had in the whole entire match. And the result ending with the stage collapsing after Kane attempts to choke slam on it. I don't know if Kane can do some claps or whatever. It kind of, it, 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 and you know, I, I know it was probably fixed, but like sometimes you kind of wonder if that stuff is fixed. Cause you kind of like, eh. but then you look back like, well, it's pro wrestling. Of course it's fixed. But you know, there comes moments like that where, you know, well, was it? You know, you don't, sometimes you're not sure. So uh, Zack Ryder got choke slammed to the stage, it collapsed, whatever. Um, they're making a big deal about it, and stretcher thing. They, 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 it seems like they have to have one of these like once a year. It seems like nowadays, like they gotta have that guy that gets injured has to be taken out of stretcher. They did it. I swear to God, they did it three times this year, and it's like overkill enough. Actually, in the past, they usually only did it like once every two years that they would do something like that. And, you know, you you tell when they're gonna do it because. They like they linger and they're all like looking in the hole or looking wherever they fell at or wherever they're injured at. They're like staring at them. And like, oh, that was a horrible fall. They always do this stuff and it like drags out forever. And you're like, holy crap! Will you just end it already? End it already, will you? Um, that's basically the end of that segment. See those, you know, they fall and put them in a military thing, and he's like, oh, it's your fault. Get away from me! And jumps in the Thing goes to Zack Ryder to the hospital. Later on, you find out Zack Ryder supposedly has a broken back. Um, I did hear rumors that he was actually injured, so it might be an injury that makes him be off TV for a while. So that just could have been the way to write him off. So <laughs> write him off, Ryder. Anyway, all right. Um, but yeah, Ryder's or Cena's all pissed off. The thing is, they show Cena getting all pissed off, and then. That's it. No retaliation, no beatdown, no nothing. Gone. Don't see Kane the rest of the night. Don't see Cena the rest of the night. So, 
Okay. Awesome. Don't get that. Now, I guess they focus more on the World Heavyweight Championship tonight, which is really, really good because they haven't focused on it at any time in the past two weeks. So I guess this is the week to do it, I guess. Um, but they kind of teased it slowly, uh, the world title uh, thing. Um, so I, I, I'm probably going to skip around here, but um, basically after that segment, I believe that they're like, oh, can they come back and all stuff. And uh, basically it ends up with Jinder Mahal in the ring. He's facing Sheamus. Oh, yeah, what a surprise. Yeah, they face every week. It's either it's like a Wade Barrett versus Sheamus or Jimmy Hall or Sheamus every single week. Smackdown, blah, 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 whatever. Um, overall. Um, so, yeah, there you go. So, Sheamus kicks, kicks his ass, bro kick. What do you expect? And wins the match, blah, blah, blah. Wade Barrett's at ringside doing commentary, blah, blah, blah. Basically, uh, Barrett, as he's walking out, Sheamus is like, hey, hey, I go win the Royal Rumble in 2012. Yeah, go Sheamus. Great white hype. And uh, basically talking trash. And Wade Barrett's like, oh, whatever. And then walks off. <laughs> and then we get the highlight reel. And I actually think the highlight reel is up before everything else. But uh, the, we get the highlight reel with Chris Jericho. Wow. All right, so we're just trying to figure out when he's going to talk. I think that's what everybody wants to know. When's he going to talk? When's he going to talk? Everybody keeps cheering him. What? Need to stop. But anyway, hopefully this ends at the Royal Rumble. He starts talking and stops all this BS because I think people are done with it. Um, does the highlight reel. He goes, shh, shh. Kept, keeps doing this, shh. He goes, when's going to get the t-shirt gun? Shows the shirt. Somebody said it didn't even go off. So I, I didn't really notice that part. But he tries to shoot it in the audience. I guess it didn't go off. Um, if it did, and I don't know, there was some red shirts. I don't want to know what that shirt would be. I was thinking it was like gonna be like a Funkasaurus shirt or something, but uh, I have no idea. If you know what shirt it was, comment down below. Uh, but then he goes, shh, shh. He points toward the, the the little Jericho uh, Tron, and that plays. They zoom into it, and it plays like a Jericho montage. Uh, basically, you know, showing like highlights from his career when he came in. And all the other moments he's had in the WWE, so I think it was kind of, I think it was kind of signaling, you know, that he was gonna he wanted to win the Royal Rumble. It's kind of what he was showing, and uh, and then after that plays, he goes, shh, shh, and he goes, come Sunday at the Royal Rumble, and everybody goes ballistic. He finally said something. Finally said, and he said it's gonna be the end of the world. As you know it. So, I don't get it. Maybe he's doing like a rock star gimmick. I don't know what's going on. Doing some rock star gimmick and he wants to get cheered and things like that. So, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. If he, this is my thing. I hope to God he does not win the championship with this gimmick because it would be really stupid. You know, I don't think that anybody can be a world champion with the gimmick that he has now. Unless he's going to have a manager. The only way. The only way that this would work is if he would have a manager. So we'll see. We'll see. But a lot of talk about him on the Royal Rumble. I'll probably make a video, another video of that coming here in a little bit. Um, but moving on, uh, then we see later on um, what other matches that we get. So there really wasn't too many matches on here tonight. Um, we did get the final. Uh, I know I'm missing something here. I don't know what match I'm missing. I know I'm forgetting a match somewhere. I may have to go to the website real quick. Um, but at the end of the show, I'll skip to the end and I'll come back and after I figure out which uh, which thing I missed, I will come back and tell you. Um, but CM Punk and we've seen we seen CM Punk. And John and I at the end of the show, and basically John comes out and says, "Um, well, we can't." You know, he said, "He said I have this message I want to get before before we go into this," and he basically says, "Okay," oh, yeah. and then. Uh, and then he basically, you know, says, well, I get a paper, and this is what it says. 
So he says, next week on Raw, I'm going to have an evaluation. Triple H is going to be the judge. He's going to oversee the evaluation, things like that. And it could result in me being terminated. Basically what he said. Or Otunga said, whatever like that. But... Then he says, oh, blah, 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 blah. He says, yes, I, 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 I'm going to call it right down the middle. I was just saying that at the Royal Rumble. And he said, oh, and then she was like, well, what about Mick Foley? He's like, Mick Foley is in the Royal Rumble. And everybody's like, woo, the crowd. Because Mick Foley is going to be in the Royal Rumble. Hell yeah. Um, so very awesome. Very awesome. And then the matches. Oh, and then at the end of the night, he said, but I do have a two-hour replacement because I can't wrestle. Because I I'm too stressed out right now, and I'm talking to Pop Team like right away, and uh, Sam Punk disposes of, and doesn't really have a match because John Warren Ice never left the ring. He'd stand there and go, oh, it seemed like he was trying to get a cheap shot in. And then at the end of the thing, the biggest pop in a while, the big blow off, so to speak, to this whole Sam Punk John the climax coming, and he GTS go to sleep on John Warren awesome. So, I mean, that's what everybody wanted to see, and finally they, they gave it to him. So, I, I honestly think that maybe they should have did it at, you know, Royal Rumble, which would have been more of, made more of a big deal about it, you know, if they would have waited until the Royal Rumble to do it, you know, after, you know, he, uh, and it would have been maybe a good way to put the strap on Ziggler, and then maybe to give it back to Punk or somebody else uh, before WrestleMania. Um, but I think Punk is going to WrestleMania. He's going to headline WrestleMania as the world, ch the WWE champion. So it's going to be awesome to see him walk into WrestleMania as a champion this year. Um, so you, you know, you see Punk's going to win, but you know, I just think something where if John would have tried to screw him over at the Royal Rumble and then see Punk does the GTS after Royal Rumble, it would have been more, more, made more sense. But going back to what happened earlier, um, we did see a Brutus Clay Heath Slater match. Awesome. Always love Brothers Clay, he did his dancing thing, squashed Heath Slater. Awesome. Just can't wait to see a real match. But, you know, these squash matches are going to happen probably for the next couple months. Uh, probably, and I can see him maybe, possibly, as big as he is over right now, maybe putting him in a Mania match against somebody like, maybe not like huge. But I can see maybe like a Brothers Clay Jack Swagger match. That'd be, that actually might be pretty good. Um, it might be impressive to see some some guy like that, or I don't know if it was Jack Swagger because he didn't really wrestle Bros. Clay, so it's kind of probably more like a brawler or somebody, uh, you know, maybe a Miz versus a Bros. Clay match that'd be actually pretty good, or somebody like that, you know, or like a Mark Henry or a, a Big Show, maybe a Big Show versus Bros. Clay, something like, something like that. Um, but I, I just don't think it, it won't be like a high caliber match, and it probably will be like the first match on the card if he does end up going to Mania. Uh, but more likely, you know, people have said that uh, I think NoDQ.com that guy said uh, that uh, basically he probably thinks he's probably going to go backstage with Big Ned or some of people dancing or something like that. And that could be right. Um, and then the other match of the night, which actually is actually more most notable, I can't believe I forgot it. Uh, was our truth and the Miz having a match? Which I don't know why this ain't on the Royal Rumble card, but um, you think they would have put that in that in there? Um, but uh, instead, they do on Raw, and the winner <clears throat> and the loser got to be number one because John got ticked off because they're making a big segment about it. Well, I'm number one. I'm number one. I'm number one. John got tired of it. He said, "Hey, you know what? I'm tired of your bitching, people." He said, go in the ring, the loser is going to be number one in the Royal Rumble, the number one entry. And the Miz lost the match. And I kind of seen this coming because I'm like, well, now if our Chargers loses the match, what's that really going to do? I mean, who's going to talk about that, really? It's not going to be really anything to talk about. Now, if you're talking about the Miz, you know, it, it's kind of like the whole like a Ric Flair thing where you know, he was the number one entry. It's like, oh, he got number one, blah, blah. Oh my God, or something like that, you know, and things like that. Like when you know they're coming out at number one, like early in the night, Royal Rumble, usually you know what numbers they're going to choose. Like, oh, well, we found out this guy's number one, this guy's number 30. Because usually they announce those ahead of time for the most part, or they used to on the older Rumbles. So then you know who has the, you know, the two notable numbers, one and 30. Um, and, you know, Miz is a guy that I could more see them talking about because. 
like, oh, well, the Miz is livid because he's number one, and he's, you know, he'd be talking about, like, all night for a rumble, you know, or things like that, you know, or them mentioning it all through the night, that, you know, oh, the Miz is number one, he ain't going to be happy, and just, you know, just think about the Miz, he has to come in at number one. You know, who would want to talk about our truth, you know, all the whole night? So it's kind of, I kind of knew, and I think if anybody knows wrestling, they should have guessed that Miz was probably going to get, will lose that match because it just makes more sense, you know, to have him go in at number one. And, you know, but I don't think Miz is going to win the Royal Rumble. That's another video. But that's basically all of the Night Raw. Awesome. So I'll make some separate videos for the other ones. But, here, there it is. My, uh, I guess it's not gonna be my wrestling review. It's gonna be my Monday Night Raw review. Okay. Well, that's up. Check out my other videos. Got more coming. Hey, Dad.